Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will learn about what are the various test deliverables which are available in software testing. This would be a common interview question they will be asked in any interview. If you completely watch this video, you will get, you will get a complete idea on what are the various test deliverables available in software testing field. So the first one is a test plan. So basically the test plan is again a test deliverables which is a document basically it gives an outline of uh, overall test scope objectives and various approaches being adopted uh, for doing software testing for a given application all those details will be defined in the test plan that is the first key deliverables in software testing second one is test strategy in test strategy document again here it defines the overall uh, the test approach for a given project certain projects they will have a separate test plan or a separate test strategy or they will club together they will call it as a just a test plan and the third important test deliverable in software testing is the test cases the test cases is a very important test deliverable where we will be detailing out the all the steps what are the things we are going to test what are the way we are going to test everything will be documented including the what is the expected results what would be the actual results what are the prerequisite in order to execute a given test case even this is the very important test deliverables in software testing the fourth deliverable is test case review after we write the test cases someone has to review those test cases our peer group will review those test cases and they will guarantee our they will ensure by reviewing properly that to guarantee those test cases written or which are complete and accurate as well and whatever the review comments they provide for a given test cases that they will put it as a test case review report and the fifth test deliverable is test data for every test execution for every test cases we would be required a certain types of data is required in order to test the given application whatever the data we will be using as part of testing the test cases is called it as a test data again which is also an another test deliverable and the sixth test deliverable would be your test environment uh, document it gives a complete information related to what are the various hardwares and software setups will be used to run a given test case and the seventh would be your test results test results are also very key uh, basically here we will be tracking all the records of the test results either it could be manual testing or it could be automated testing everything will be documented certain time we will be managing an excel sheet or certain time we will be managing completely on uh, application it could be web application or a desktop application uh, in order to manage the overall uh, test cases results including the defects which we log for any test case executions and the eighth is defect report here we will be documenting all the information related to defects and what are its status what are the steps to reproduce and what are its expected and actual results all this information will be tracked in the defect reports related to complete defects plus the related test cases and the ninth one is test summary report or a tsr test summary report basically again it is a test deliverables it summarizes this document summarizes the overall results of the software testing including uh, how many test cases we ran how many test cases got passed what are the defects found any issues or risk are identify everything will be documenting as part of this test summary report and the 10th test deliverable is test closure test closure document is very crucial document and that would be normally guarantee once all our testing is done and in order to close the overall software testing process for a given project or a given phase 
will be documenting this test closure report so that uh, we will get review from the all the stakeholders before we signing of the overall uh, testing project that is when we will be using test closure report and that 11th one is test metrics test metrics again it's very crucial in order to track the overall uh, testing processes testing uh, activities we will be using this test matrix to measure various uh, things in the software testing life cycle it could be number of test cases which we ran or number of defects we found or time taken to complete the execution there are we can talk about many more than 20 to 30 test matrix are there for every test matrix we will measure and we will track the results for every sprints or every release even that would be required to document it that is again another test deliverable for any software testing uh, project 12th is test log here we track every details including the when we ran the test cases what are the test results what are the defects shown everything will be tracked as part of this test log and the 13th test deliverable is test status report test status report normally in order to send across to the various stakeholders on day to day basis or weekly reports or monthly reports or overall progress reports every details will be part of this uh, testing status report it could be what is the uh, test design progress test execution progress in terms of defects every details will be provided as part of this test status report and the 14th one is test traceability matrix or recommend traceability matrix basically here all the test cases are linked to the requirements to guarantee whatever the test cases which we write is having uh, enough test cases for a given requirement that is the validation we can easily make using this recommend traceability matrix or test traceability matrix these are the 14 important test deliverable which are very much required for any given software testing project